To connect the remote, he stopped up. Of course, the emergency on the rig, whatever. This one up, this one up, not on position on. Yeah, up. On the side here, on green, you have three selections. So basically, this is actually positioning, drilling. So green, this one up, this one up, and green. On this side, the green button, you press one time, a few seconds, the green line, the green light start flashing with high frequency. Same button here, one more time, start flashing is lower, the mass is connected. On the green background, let's say on the green mode, you're only using these two here. This and this. This one here does the horizontal turntable. One side and the other side. This one here, you see from the sign, is the vertical. That's it. Now we go to vertical and we go through the Drilling operation. You have some reds on the machine? Pardon? You want the machine a bit faster? It's only no, a no, it's all right. <laughs> what about when you're drilling? Um, do you want more reds on the machine or are you just idling's fine? What's the flow you can get from whatever? I don't know, probably now it's what, 800, 900 RPM? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. What, what, what's the flow you can get from there right now? It's set to. Yeah, it's set to. Yeah, whatever that. Whatever that, one. yeah. But I mean, I wonder, yeah, we'll just have to ask. Um, I think that you, if you run at 1,400, 1,500, yeah. more than enough. Yeah. So what's it sitting on now? Zero. Or yeah. one. Yeah. Probably around yeah, run halfway. Sure. And the ones we know what we're going to get flat out. Flat, <laughs> right. flat, flat stick. Get old cat man back here, one and close up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. Do you mind moving up a little bit more? <laughs> Perfect. Knock it up. All right. It was on full tilt. All right. It was on full tilt. So now you're coming basically from green, where you position your mast, horizontal turntable, vertical. So not the first, the second from, yeah, yeah, from yeah. the right. These two. You go on white on the right side here. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So you, you switch on white. Now you are basically in drilling mode. Let's say we assume that this is actually the angle that we want to drill. This one here with the two arrows up yep. and down, you push it down and you go on your whatever. You lay down. Usually what we do is push a little bit. You have to see, you see the boom is, is going up a little bit yep. when you go down is actually you are removing the weight of the attachment from the boom. So it's basically the weight of the attachment is sitting on the ground. So when you drill, you're not, even if you're pushing, you're crowding, you're not lifting the, the mast. And then from the top here, we start from left. This is percussion, hydraulic percussion, rotation. One direction, other direction. This one is the road breaker, road breaker clamp. Close, open. This one is your winch. I'm weighing down. Now you need, it's probably. Yeah, you need to pull it, yeah. Winch up. This one is your corner slide with the two arrows. This one here is the lower clamp. Close. Open. Yeah. 
This one here, the white one, is the feed. Up. You can arrive to the to the end. So the end actually is calculated to be the end of stroke of the cylinder. Yeah. So no problem. No problem, yeah. Down. Same thing. Okay. And this one here actually is only if you're using water. From here you can activate the water flashing. Yeah. So all this function, once you release it, they stop, the, the, the machine stops. This one here, so there are three functions, basically, the three main functions, the one that we see from the pressure gauges, yeah. rotation, percussion, and feed. Then we have the automatic feeding system, the automatic system. This means I'm ready to drill. I can activate my rotation. This one comes off, comes on. This is the light, you see. Yeah. And then from here, I can adjust the speed more and less but when you're drilling it stays on so yeah. when you move your hands yeah. it stays on the same thing happens with the feed so feed i activate now it's zero i increase and then as soon as they start to increase that's your feed when you Right now you're drilling only with rotation. You want to flash your hole, you push this one, your drifter goes up, you release it, but now it's a little bit, and it starts going down again. So up, and then down. So this one, these ones always wins against the automatic. Same thing, you want to rotate different way, you see? I release it, I remove it, and it go back to the direction I gave. Percussion, same concept. You activate from this, you have your light here on, and then you go up. And then you go. That's it. So, when you drill with a down the hole hammer, so I mean only rotation, you never use the, the hydraulic percussion because it's the tool giving you the percussion with the air. So, rot uh, rotation drilling, down the hole hammer, rotation, feed. That's it. Activation. Disactivation or activation, disactivation. Either way, you pull it, pull or push it. On the side here, you have minus, plus. This one is your hair. So it's actually, we go back, to, to, we go to see the cylinder that I was telling you before. Open, close, okay, from here, the one, the one in the middle, you open the water line, so these three are all flushing, middle one is the water, minus plus air, these ones, this one we'll see later, and on this side, uh, you don't have anything. One switch on, off. The water is yeah. on. on. You see from, from here, when okay. it's flashing, it's open. Yeah. Like this is stuck, it's not oh. open. Flashing it means you're actually pumping. One more. Oh. So. The, the air, you see from this one. Oh. Exactly. One more thing that I didn't show you before is the side shift. So the side shift you activate with this one. So 
you use this the side shift is used basically if you're lifting your anchor your bar with the winch so basically you're pulling up your 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 anchor with the winch you're installing it and then once you're finished you slide your your head back in and you're ready to go this is why especially if you're dealing with casing you're not leaving your hole you're, you're not lo losing your direction your angle because if you don't have this one for example you have to lift up the mast move, move aside put the anchor and then go back on get the casing pull out the casing in this way you're you're not re uh, releasing your casing your casing is clamped with a lower clamp here yeah side put your anchor slide back in grab your casing go out and that's it.